Now, the BJP is clearly upping the ante with the Delhi BJP President Adesh Gupta giving a complaint to the DCP in Delhi to register an FIR against the minister, the up minister Rajender Pal Gautam. Now, Delhi BJP has sought a registration of the FIR under six sections of the IPC and it's not just the Mantri that they're going after. They're also targeting Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Essentially, the Bharatiya Chalta Party is accusing Kejriwal of conspiring with his minister Gautam for his speech at Ambedkar Bhavan in Delhi on October 5th. It was in that event that the Delhi minister was seen taking that oath. JP Chief Adesh Gupta. Sir, you have filed complaint against Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal as well as uh, Rajendra Pal Gautam while Mr. Gautam is saying that he, what he has said is nothing new. Ambed, those were Ambedkar's woes. Ye sari mangalant baate hain. Koi bhi dharm is baat ki ijajat nahi deta hai, nahi permission deta hai ki wo dousre dharm, Hindu dharm ke baare mein galat baate kare, anastha prakat kare ya fir असम्मान प्रकट करें जो बातें दिल्ली सरकार के अरविंद केजरीवाल के मंत्री ने कही हैं वो ना तो संवैधानिक रूप से सही है ना ही सांप्रदायिक रूप से ठीक है बल्कि वो नफरत फैलाने वाली हैं वो उन्होंने हिंदुओं के देवी देवताओं का तो अपमान किया ही है बल्कि समाज के अंदर भी नफरत फैलाने का काम किया है जिसके खिलाफ हमने कंप्लेंट दर्ज कराई है और अरविंद केजरीवाल जो अपने आप को कहते हैं हम सभी धर्मों का आदर करते हैं सभी धर्मों का सम्मान करते हैं उनसे कहना चाहता हूं कि अगर आप ये बात लिखते हैं अपने ट्विटर हैंडल पर और ये बात सही है ढकोसला नहीं है तो आप उनको तुरंत बर्खास्त करिए चौबीस घंटे के अंदर बर्खास्त करिए अरविंद केजरीवाल का नाम क्यों रखा आप लोगों ने कम्प्लेट में देखिए अरविंद केजरीवाल के मंत्री हैं और उन्होंने ही उन्हें मंत्री बनाया अगर अगर वास्तव में संवैधानिक रूप से देखा जाए तो मुख्यमंत्री वो हैं मंत्री उनकी मर्जी पर हैं उन्होंने बनाया है और अगर उन्होंने काम वो नाराज हैं गलत किया है तो हटाए 24 घंटे के अंदर अगर नहीं हटाया जाता है तो ऐसे में क्या बीजेपी अब यहाँ से प्रेशर और माउंट करने वाली है हंड्रेड परसेंट जिस तरह उन्होंने किया है ये ये एक बड़ा सवाल है और बड़ी बात उन्होंने गलत काम किया है हमने कम्प्लेन आज दर्ज कराई है आगे हम आंदोलन भी करेंगे all right let's bring in preeti choudhary also on this broadcast preeti good evening last few allegations or charges against the aam aadmi party almost every single time we've seen arvind kejriwal come out and completely vociferously back his ministers or leaders in this particular case there's been a very stoic silence from the aap are we then to assume that the party is going to completely distance themselves from this minister from this leader but you know even if it wants the party cannot distance itself uh, from these comments uh, akshita a party which largely thrives on optics especially uh, they are a month and a half away for elections in gujarat where uh, you know the entire uh, religion communal angle is on fire right now if you look at what's going on in gujarat optics like this will only work against the party the party hoping to gain ground uh, in gujarat uh, will be extremely disappointed because this particular video uh, would possibly go you know go viral in a state like gujarat and it wouldn't augur well for the aam aadmi party it's been an image an anti hindu image that the party over years has consistently you know worked to uh, avert uh, if you look at it every diwali a puja which is publicized in terms of with many cameras every time arvind kejriwal gives an interview he actually says we are the real hindutva you know the bjp is of uh, you know a brand of rabid hindutva so he's always distinguished uh, you know distinguished himself and the party from that this is damning where the party is concerned the question now is what action will the party take uh, there's a studied silence right now not one aam aadmi party spokesperson has come out spoken uh, because these optics uh, like i said uh, you you can't deny with what, you know what these optics are on the uh, yeah. other uh, point now akshita will action be taken in terms of this particular minister be sacked from the party we do know that uh, arvind kejriwal is extremely angry with him with what has gone down now will he take action um, there was indications that that action could follow as soon as monday but what could queer the pitch is the 
breaking news that you just went to a minute ago. The fact that the Bharatiya Janata Party is now demanding a resignation or the sacking of the minister who's been with the party since 2015. He's held, uh, you know, he continues to hold very strong portfolios within the party. He's not just an MLA, he's a cabinet minister at that. But now with the BJP demanding and, uh, you know, a sacking. Arvind Kejriwal of the party might have just done it in case just, uh, you know, to show that, listen, we don't believe what he did. But they might now decide to brazen it out in the face of the BJP asking for the sacking because that would be politically incorrect to actually bow down or cower down to the Bharatiya Janata Party pressure. But one thing for sure, that even before that, uh, there were indications that... Mm. Uh, you know, Mr. Gotham would be facing a heavy hand and it could have even meant his sacking by Monday. You know, the BJP has been going to town with this, as you pointed out, Preeti. Whether that's led to a change of strategy for the AAP, we'll see maybe in the coming hours if there's a reaction at all from the Aam Aadmi Party. But this could have political repercussions for the Aam Aadmi Party in, let's say, a Gujarat, where they've been going all out in their campaign. Well, you're bang on, you know, because exactly these visuals will be counterproductive for the campaign in Gujarat. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Arvind Kejriwal would be in Gujarat. Every three days he's in Gujarat. The Aam Aadmi Party is very, very hopeful of not just eating into the space ceded by the Congress, but also eating into uh, the capital of the Bharatiya Janata Party. They hope to do so. A state like Gujarat is highly communal, especially right now. We've seen the number of incidents that have happened. A video like that will fly, and the BJP will make sure that it goes to town, especially in the rural belt, where the BJP is considered to be weaker. You know, areas like Saurashtra, this, uh, you know, this video will be circulated wide and it will work against the party and the party knows it. So in terms of optics, it's one of its worst nightmares. How it uh, now firefights uh, damage control is yet to be seen. One of the main reasons for that damage control is also seen in the fact that not a single leader has spoken right now. There's a practical uh, unsaid gag order not to speak on what has just gone down. Yeah, pin drop silence so far from the Aam Aadmi Party on this controversy. And that speaks volumes of how they perhaps believe they're on the back foot on this. Preeti, thanks very much for joining us this evening here on 6 p.m. Prime.